What's going on everybody? This is AZ Sports Cards back at it. And today we went down and visited our friends at Iconic Cards and Collectibles. They moved to a brand new location with a whole new inventory. And I'm going to take you guys there right now. Let's go. This is the iconic Cards and Collectibles new shop. Let's take a look. As you can see, tons of boxes with some amazing cards inside them. It would take me at least four days to look through all of them and I would still find unbelievable stuff. The amount of variety in the shop is ridiculous. We spent three hours going through some of these boxes and didn't even scratch the surface of what's inside. There was magic, there was non-sports, there was football, there was vintage, there was new. Anything you're looking for, they got it. This section right here is full of Pokemon cards that might not interest me, but definitely will interest somebody coming in. For those of you who don't have enough time to go through all these boxes, they have nice singles out already priced, and all you have to do is take them to the front desk and Ty will take care of you. Greatest stuff is more your speed. This section will be right up your alley. They have more stuff in the back waiting to come out. For you high end collectors, this case has some rarer cards for your collection. This is their contact information if you're looking for anything specific. Right, so that was the shop. Uh, I like the new location. It has a little better parking and a lot more new cards. Uh, if you guys can tell by the video, they have tons of boxes. I think it was about uh, 40 boxes on the floor full of new cards that no one's looked through yet. And I picked up a good stack there. So we're going to take a moment and see what I brought home. The stack is so big that I have to go through and cut it into a couple of maybe maybe cut in half maybe do three different piles but i'll just show you guys no particular order what i picked up so i picked up a nice juan gonzalez rookie card very nice there Derek alexander one of these prepaid phone cards very cool there I like that one carrie wood rookie card we have iso joe johnson now these boxes had so much variety. I had to go through a lot of them just to pick out some of these gems, like this Gary Payton from Flare Update. Oh, passing around my hand. Yeah, it was. Uh, we we spent three hours there, and we only got through like maybe thirty three percent of the boxes. It was intense. Uh, Nick Swisher rookie card. I rarely see this guy. Um, growing up, I always played the Yankees uh, on MLB The Show, and he was a. Uh, he was a no doubt hitter, man. He can crush it. Uh, Rip Hamilton, rookie card. Buying a lot of him recently. Pat Burnell from Bowman. It's Bowman's best rookie. Most of these cards average out to probably a dollar. I think I paid 80 for the stack, which, you know, some of these cards were steals. Look at this Mike Allstott from Absolute. So this is numbered out of 500. Beautiful. Like acetate right in the back. Mike Allstott. And I have some people around me who love the Buccaneers who would love this card. Another Rip Hamilton. 
People slept on him. I didn't know how good he was until I looked at his stats. Another ISO Joe. So we got basketball, we got football, we got baseball. Chris Weber, nice rookie card. This might be going in my collection. Didn't have this rookie from 94. Really cool. Tim Hardaway, another rookie card that I didn't have in my collection. This is his Fleer rookie. And I, I picked a stack up of these. Um, let's see. I don't know exactly what these are, but they're cool die cuts. They're specialists from 97 uh, Fleer Ultra. So this one says Ultra. I mean, they all say it, but we have, you know, Stewart. We have Troy Aikman. That was a sweet one. Eddie George. I don't know. They look like part of a set, like an 18 card set. Uh, but I picked up these for. I'm pro they, they're a cool die cut. They're probably worth a buck a piece, I would, I would say. I might just do a lot of them on. Uh, on eBay and see how they do, but they're pretty sweet. There's some good players like Terry Glenn, like that, and that Keyshawn Johnson. They're not numbered, but they are pretty sweet looking. So I had to pick those up. I tried to find all of them. I, I didn't think they were all there, but they're pretty sweet. Another Mike Allstott rookie. I don't know if it's just me, but I really love the rookie cards that have their stickers, like their names on their helmets. That just I, they look great. I love when they do that. Dwight Freeney had a really cool one when I had his rookie card. Chris Sale. I didn't know. I mean, he played for the Red Sox, played for the White Sox. I know that. Uh, and he's in the, like over 2,000 strikeout club, I think. I think I saw that on Instagram. So that's pretty cool to get a rookie card from him. Edrigan James from Score. Score 99 rookie card. So this is like a mid-season update. Yeah, mid-season update right at the bottom. Good looking card there. A Saquon Barkley rookie. No, it's a score rookie, but still. Saquon, Saquon. Chris Webber again. Big Chris Webber guy. And we'll see him later on. That's his rookie there. And this is a sweet one. Um, so this is from Stadium Clubs, but it's Royal Court, and it has a cool graphic cross. It definitely, you can definitely see it there. Uh, Keith Van Horn. I don't know if that's anything special, but I took a shot on it, and I was like, I was making piles. What's good about iconic cards and collectibles is that there's no real pricing. Like on our shop, there's no real pricing either because the market fluctuates. So all you really do is just make a pile of cards that you think are cool or think you like. And you take it to Ty or you take it to Anthony and then they price it there. And most of the time, uh, unless there are like some cards at the end that they already price themselves, like the higher end stuff, they're mostly going to average out at a buck. Like this nice Jerry Rice. This is just a sweet looking card. I don't think it's a parallel or anything, but still, good looking card there. This cool Ricky Williams from Bowman Chrome. People forget, they traded an arm and a leg for this guy in the draft. Jeez. Michael Vick, rookie. Can't go wrong with that from Press Pass. Fred Taylor. Another good guy from the 90s that went into the 2000s. So, good rookie card there. Draw Revis. I don't know if I have this, but this is a sweet one. Yep, any marks are on the... Uh, on the pennies, on, on the penny sleeves, not on the cards themselves. They're all in really good shape, but that's a really nice one. Warren Sapp. This is a sweet one from Fleer Metal. I don't think I had this one, but that's a sweet one. A Keyshawn Johnson at a 480. Nice gold numbered card. Good looking. This is a cool one. A Lamar Gordon. So not the best name, but if we take a look at back, that's out of 100. So I think there's some type of North Dakota State fan out there who would love to have this. In their collection. Nice numbered card from them. Champ Bailey Hall of Famer. So you see a trend. I'm getting a lot of big name players here. This is a sweet one. So I'm a Giants fan through and through. You know, good season, bad season. I'm, that's my team. And Kevin Boss. I really liked him at tight end. And he does not have a lot of rookie cards out there. Um, other Giant collectors like me, they, they know who Kevin Boss is. He got hit so hard when he played for us. Uh, every time I feel like every hit on him was a big hit on him. And... Uh, it's really cool to see his rookie cards floating around, so I had to pick that one up. Chris Carter, Hall of Famer. Did not have this one. I'll probably stay in my collection. Uh, this was a sweet one. So this is a Mitch Richmond, who's a Hall of Famer. Um, I don't know if it's anything special. It's Excited from Skybox, some type of insert or some type of parallel. I'm not sure, but you know it, it passed the eye appeal test, so I had to pick that one up. Ricky Rubio, long career. Wish I could have found Steph Curry, did not. My buddy Kyle, he found his Steph Curry second year, and he picked it up for a buck. And I think it's going for fifteen dollars online now. So, wish he would have let me in on that. Monty Tumor, these were cool NFL on Fox cards. 
Giants players love him. This is a cool Tory Holt. I'm pretty sure this is numbered. Yep, this is numbered at 300 for a Tory Holt. Sweet from Bowman's Best. Nice refractor there. Love the graphic on that one. Another Warren Sapp. It's just a regular top rookie. Andre Johnson. I have this one already, but he's a Hall of Famer this year. So I was excited to find some of him. And this one I did not have. This is his Flair Traditions rookie card. So that'll probably end up staying with me. Really cool. Darrell Revis. Another Hall of Famer. Can't go wrong with it. Has the sticker on it. The Revis on the helmet. That's just a small thing I enjoy. I just I like that and look at these rookie cards. So that was really cool. I think I have that one already, but I'll double check. Another Hall of Famer, Edwin James. Again, first quarter from Edge. Not super expensive, maybe 50 cents, but still, for me, it's awesome. This was a cool one. Um, so not the biggest name, Antoine Smith for the Bills. Not the biggest name to, to me, but it's the Hobby Reserve Parallel. I saw a couple of them without it, and I only found one with it. So I thought maybe that's something to look into, maybe take a shot on. Just like this Isaac Bruce, Big Easy. That's pretty sweet. I think it's it's not a rookie because I think his rookie's 94. But Big Easy, that's that might be something to look into. Match the eye appeal. And, you know, for a dollar a card for some of these guys, it's not bad. I mean, even if they're worth only 2 or $3, you'll still hit some pretty good ones. Like this Terrell Davis. This one's actually numbered out of 1,000. So Hall of Fame running back. Pretty sweet. And these will, most of these will be available at the shop, too. I mean, there's going to be the weird ones that I like, but a lot of these will be at the shop. Like this Dante Culpepper. This one's numbered at 2000 So for less than a dollar, I, feel like I can't go wrong. This Mo Vaughn. So Red Sox fans remember Mo Vaughn. Uh, not the best career, but this one, numbered out of 50. So relatively low number for a 90s card. And then we have the scoreboard of Steven Jackson, who was a beast in the 2000s. And he's ran over everybody. And this one's number at $5.99. So I was going for a little trend. Something numbered, Hall of Famers, uh, iconic players, low number stuff. Stuff like that. Let's get to our second stack of cards. And then that will be it for today. And if you're in that, you know, Scranton area. I mean, it was an hour and a half drive for me coming from New York. But iconic cards and collectibles. Really cool shop. And their new locations are really nice. Let's take a look at this second stack. So we have Udonis Haslam. Very cool. Not a rookie, but it is a refractor. One of those old men in the league. Really cool. First year. He was, he was getting some uh, some publicity for a little while. Mark Bruel. I think is that, hopefully I'm saying that right. Bruel. Nice pitcher from Flair Update 2000. Gilbert Arenas. So I've been buying a little bit of Gilbert Arenas now because he's on a podcast. Uh, he's being more in the media, so people are recognizing his name and you know what he went through uh, as a basketball player and his just experience. So had to pick up his rookie card. Pretty sweet there. We have a Peter Bowlware. Hopefully he's in that right too. Rookie card. Look at his stats. He's like a seven-time Pro Bowler, and he has, he has the sticker on his name. Uh, I'm always going to go with that. This is so cool. This one was a sweet find. I didn't find this. My buddy Kyle found this one. Uh, we have the Ray Allen Top Stadium Club Rookie Showcase. So this is a rookie card. And it'll probably stay with me because Ray Allen's my guy. And has that, like, hopefully you can see it. You can see his actual figure right there if you turn it a certain way. Yeah, hopefully it comes up on camera. But really sweet rookie card. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer yet. I think he hasn't been out of the league yet. He probably is a Hall of Famer now, actually. I, I'll have to double check, but he should be a Hall of Famer if he's not one already. Uh, this one was a cool one. Shaquille O'Neal from 2009. Panini. Seen a couple of these going really well online, so pick that one up. Why not? Paul Skeens. Guy is tearing it up in the Major League, so it was cool to find a card of him. We have a numbered Bowman card of him in the shop if you're interested in that, but this is a cool one to find. Not too expensive, but for those people who want just a Paul Skeens card. That's a, that's a cool one to have. That'll be at the shop. Sean Alexander, another mid-2000s uh, guy who was just a, on a tear. Uh, do, does he get in the Hall of Fame someday? Probably not. Doesn't have the longevity, but still had a great career for him. Jeremy Shockey, rookie for the Giants. I know there's people out there who still like him. This is a cool one. Josh Allen Canvas. So it's not the Josh Allen you think of, but you know, still good defensive player. This is Canvas Parallel. 
Braylon Edwards, man, he was a machine for the Browns back in the late 2000s. Uh, but this is the first edition, too. So it's not just his base. This is from first edition, so when it first came out. So pick that one up. Hopefully it's doing pretty well. Curtis Martin, I believe this is a rookie card. 95, 96. If it's not, that's all right. But he's a Hall of Famer now, too. So pick that one up. I don't know if that will stay with me or not. Kevin Euclid says not rookie card. It is rookie card. It's his first year. So I don't know why they would say that. But uh, to me, it would be his rookie card if it's his first Bowman. But really cool. We have a Leonard Williams that I picked up. Longtime Jet player. Played for the Giants for a little while. I don't know where he's at now. Maybe he's back to the Jets. We found a Christian McCaffrey rookie. So for those kids out there who love Christian McCaffrey for the 49ers, you know, this is an affordable rookie. $2 rookie card there. Not bad. People can come to the shop and just pick that up. We have a Shaq rookie. So those are really cool. People love Shaq. They love Michael Jordan. So I try to pick up those cards for a good price. This is a nice rookie card for him. Charles Woodson from Bowman Chrome. This doesn't say rookie, but it is a rookie card. So that was cool. Had to pick that one. BJ Upton had a nice career in baseball. So at this point, I was just making, just pulling anybody I want out that was, you know, anything, I don't know, anything that could be something, right? Like this one. I don't know if these uh, hard corps, um, is it hard corps? No, no. And this is all that. Gunk is at the top letter, or the pencil if it's not in the card. But I'll, I'm going to switch them out. But I took a shot on this. I didn't know if this was going for anything. Maybe a dollar. Not sure. Like this guy. Ali Marpet. I remember him being talked about during the year. This is from the Penny Instant, Instant Set. So he doesn't really have that much. So we'll see. We'll see if that going, that's going for anything. But this was a cool one. Michael Bennett, 420. Not a rookie card, but nice score... Numbered card. Stuff like that could sell a little bit. We have a uh, Stephen McNair. Die cut rookie card. That was sweet. Another Sean Alexander. Beautiful. Mike Allstott. Again. Picking up. I'm picking these up so cheap. We have a Hall of Fame Kellen Winslow rookie card. Even had some vintage. There were some vintage boxes that I loved going through. Looking for those big name players. Kellen Winslow, very nice card. Well, Saturn. And then just for floating around a 5,000 count box in pretty good shape. Uh, Walter Jones, Hall of Famer. Very cool looking card there. I love that. Mark Bavaro. Or Mark Bavaro. Jeez. One of those Giants players back in the 80s and 90s that everyone loved. Big tight end there. Fernando Tatis Jr. prospect cards. Like, you are getting all the variety you could ever ask for. Vintage, new guys. There were some uh, 2023 tops there that I see all the time, but if you want to get that, that's great too. Vernon Davis had a great career. I picked that one up pretty cheap. Same with Vernon Wells. These guys who were really sought after when they were rookies, and now you can find them in these just boxes sitting. Like Kurt Schilling. I don't think I have this one, so it might be staying with me. I had a guy come in the shop looking for David Justice cards. A little too late now, but still, it's a dollar card. Nice David Justice rookie. But then Paul Pierce, and I love how this Paul Pierce has its uh, top's finest protection on it. So that's like a sticker that's on it that protects it from being damaged. So that would be cool. That would be a nice one. This one was sneaky. We have the Grant Hill from 94-95. So co-rookie of the year. That's a sweet rookie card. Love picking that up. And going through these boxes is what I really like about cards. And I know some people can't spend hours in a shop looking through every box like me, but that's that's what I like. I like finding these little treasures in these boxes. Like a Nelson Cruz first year. That's a good card to find. Just floating around for a buck. This was one of the cards that kind of shocked me out of nowhere. We have a Mike Mussina from Rochester. So he's a Hall of Famer. Uh, but this isn't a card. This is a magnet. It's a magnet with him on it. So it's not a card, but I was like, you know what? I'll pick it up. Why not? Just toss it in. I'll, I'll put it in a top loader and I'll keep it in my little PC. Uh, Alonzo Morning rookie card. Very cool. That's a nice Hall of Famer. We've got some number cards. And I say some of the better cards at the end. Some of the refractors. Andres Galarraga. This is numbered at 4,500. So not really low, but still it's good shape. He's, you know, plays for the Braves. 
has good backing. These refractors can go really well. Like this Chris Weber refractor from Topps Chrome. Really sharp. Just floating around for a dollar. That's pretty, that's like a four to five dollar card. That's, we'll take those. Uh, this was a weird one. Um, Lando Calrissian rookie card. So that's pretty sweet. I don't know if that's going for anything, but there's some people out there who like this kind of stuff. That might be their favorite character from Star Wars. So pick that one up. Why not? This was a cool find. This was in the first box I looked in. We have a Joe Klecko. And back when he got announced with Hall of Fame, this card was like at least $15, $20 card. It's died down. I think it's probably like a $5 card now, but still in a really good shape, Joe Klecko. And we got some vintage lovers that come to the shop that would really like that card in their collection. Uh, another Charles Woodson, Prime Rookies. This is a cool one. Didn't have that one. Probably keep that one in my collection. This is a sweet looking card. Uh, another refractor. We have Bruce Smith. For Buffalo fans out there, nice Bruce Smith refractor. That's from Topps Chrome. Penny Hardaway. This can be sneaky. So this is a 1996. Is this 96 Penny Hardaway? Yeah, refractor. These can be sneaky. I mean, he's one of the best never was guys, right? He just had too many injuries that stopped him from true greatness. But there's still people out there who love Penny Hardaway. Uh, Sterling Shepard refractor. Ended up picking that. That was thrown at me. We got some Giants guys that come in. So we end up getting two of those. Uh, I think he's still on the Giants. Longest tenure Giant last year. So hopefully he's still there. Injuries kind of kept him from shining. But hopefully he comes back. Uh, we're getting down to the best pickups. This is a sweet one. The Dane Tomlinson at 320. That's a nice one. Any numbered uh, LT cards are pretty sweet by me. Aiden O'Connell. So I don't know what the Raiders are doing. I know they're picking up a lot of pieces, so this might be going for something. Rookie Relics. This is a cool one. Player worn memorabilia, so probably from his college jersey. That's a sweet one. Uh, for Giants fans out there, Jalen Hyatt, two color patch from Leaf. Now, are these cards going for four or five bucks? Probably. Right around that that edge. But, you know, after everything worked out, getting everything for, you know, 80 bucks is pretty good. And this last card was very sneaky. So, one of those guys who was, like, more infamous than iconic. So, we have a Darko Milicic. Great refractor there from Beckett, Beckett graded. It takes, like, 20 bucks to grade for Beckett. So, get this card for 10 bucks. Was a steal for me. Online, these are going for like 20, 25, 30 bucks because it is a refractor in the in same draft class as, you know, Carmelo, D Wade, LeBron, Chris Bosch. Um, yeah, I think he was taken second overall, right? Second overall to the Pistons. If Carmelo got drafted instead, you know, maybe history plays out a little differently for him. Maybe he actually wins a championship. So, had to pick that one up. Uh, never worked out as a player, but you know, Still very sought after for people who are set collecting this. And those refractors back of a second overall pick was so cool. And I know that was a long video just for the pickups. But hey, that's what you get when you go to Iconic, right? And when you go to Iconic Cards and Collectibles, you're going there for the search. You're going there for to check out all the new product they have. And I went into their back area where you know people aren't really supposed to go. And they still have at least... 80 boxes full of cards like this that aren't on the floor yet. So he's always got new material out. And when you go down there and talk to Ty and you go down there and talk to Anthony, you're going to find some great stuff. But anyways, that is it for today. Thank you all for watching. This is an AC Sports Cards, and I will see you all next time.